Hugh Percy, 1st Duke of Northumberland K.G. P.C. was an English peer, landowner, and art patron. Origins He was born Hugh Smithson, the son of Langdale Smithson of Langdale, Yorkshire, and grandson of Sir Hugh Smithson, 3rd Baronet from whom he inherited the Smithson Baronetcy in 1733. Marriage he changed his surname to Percy when he married Lady Elizabeth Seymour, daughter of Algernon Seymour, 7th Duke of Somerset, on 16 July 1740, through her private act of Parliament. She was Baroness Percy in her own right, and indirect heiress of the Percy family, which was one of the leading landowning families of England, and had previously held the Earldom of Northumberland for several centuries. The title Earl of Northumberland passed by special remainder to Hugh Percy as Elizabeth's husband when her father died, who had been created first Earl of Northumberland in 1749. In 1766, the Earl was created first Duke of Northumberland and was created Baron Levain on 28 June 1784, with a special remainder in favour of his younger son, Algernon. The Leuven family of Brabant, which married the Percy heiress, was the origin of the Percy family of England. Richard de Percy, 5th Baron Percy, was the son of Jocelyn of Leuven. Style, brother of the Queen, were the most important patrons of Canaletto in England. Smithson made a grand tour and was in Venice in 1733, where he acquired two large Canalettos for his seat at Stanwick. In 1736 he became one of the two vice-presidents of the Society for the Encouragement of Learning. He rebuilt Stanwick Park c. 1739-1740, mostly to his own designs. He was one of the 175 commissioners for the building of Westminster Bridge, a structure he had Canaletto paint two more large canvases. 1747, he built an observatory, designed by Robert Adam, on Ratchew Crag, at Longhorton. Thomas Chippendale dedicated his gentleman and cabinet makers director to him. He became second Earl of Northumberland on the death of his father-in-law, Duke Algernon, on 7 February 1750. The Duke and Duchess were prominent patrons of Robert Adam for neoclassical interiors in the Jacobean mansion Northumberland House, the London seat of the Earls of Northumberland. It was demolished California, 1870-1871, in connection with the creation of Trafalgar Square. Remnants of the Northumberland House glass drawing room are preserved at the Victoria and Albert Museum. The Greater Adam interiors for the Duke are at Sion House, executed in the 1760s. At Annick Castle, Northumberland, the Duke employed James Wyatt, whose work has been effaced by later remodelings. One or other Adam designed Brisley Tower for the Duke. Landholdings, seats. Annick Castle, Northumberland, Sion House, Middlesex, Northumberland House, Strand, London, Stanwick Hall, Stanwick St. John, Yorkshire, the seat of the Smiths and Baronets, Kielder Castle, in the Kielder Forest, Northumberland, a shooting box built in 1775 by the first Duke to his own design by William Newton. Death and Burial Hugh died in 1786 and was buried in the Northumberland Vault within Westminster Abbey. Family The Duke and Duchess had three children. Hugh Percy, 2nd Duke of Northumberland. Algernon Percy, 1st Earl of Beverley. Lady Elizabeth and Francis Percy, buried within the Northumberland Vault in Westminster Abbey. The Duke's illegitimate son, James Smithson is famed for having made the founding bequest and provided the name for the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C.